In this session, let us learn how to resize a drawing object, group different drawing objects, how to use the object toolbar, position image or graphics within the text and access the object toolbar. So first, let us start with resizing a drawing object. Now the steps for these is to select the object, then click one of the eight handles around it and do a resizing. For a scaled resizing, to maintain the proportions, there are two methods. The first one is to hold the shift key and drag from one of the corners. The second one is to go via the format, object, position and size option from the menu bar. Check keep ratio option and you can optionally set the width and height independently. This way, the proportions of the object are maintained. Let us see a demonstration of this. I am opening the text document. I am going to open the drawing toolbar. Now I am going to insert a smiley. Once it is done, hold the shift key to resize the image. This will go for a scaled resizing. You can also go by our format, object, position and size. You can also go to the same option by right clicking picture and you get the position and size. Now you click on keep ratio and make changes to the width. You can automatically notice that the height is changing proportionally. So this way we can do scaled resizing of an image. Now let us learn how to group the drawing objects. We had seen this in the earlier video. We will be seeing it again exploring the other options to group and ungroup an object. So we need to select the first object, hold the shift key and select all other objects to be included in the group. You can find that the bounding box expands in order to select all the objects which you have clicked. With the objects selected, move the mouse on one of the object and do any one of the following. Click on format, group and group option or Right click, choose group and group from the pop-up menu or click on the group icon in the drawing object properties toolbar. Let us have a demonstration. I am opening the drawing toolbar. I am drawing a rectangle. Then an ellipse. And then a diamond shape. Select the first object, hold the shift key and select all other objects to be included in the group. And I am clicking on the group option in the drawing object properties toolbar. Now if I try to move an object, you can notice that the all three objects are moving. I am ungrouping it by clicking on the option in the drawing object properties toolbar. Now you can see that the shapes can be moved independently. Now let us select it again, click on format, group, group. Again it has got grouped. Now to ungroup it, click on format, group and ungroup. Now let me reposition the diamond shape. Again select all the three objects. Right click, choose the option group and click on group again. Now the three objects are grouped together. Let me ungroup it. So these are the three ways in which we can group and ungroup different drawing objects. When we insert an image or a graphic in OpenOffice Writer, 
the object toolbar appears. It has different options in the toolbar. The first one is apply style. Second one is wrap off. Third one is page wrap. Fourth one is wrap through. Fifth one is align left. Sixth one is align center. Seventh one is align right. Eighth one is dark. Ninth one is center. Tenth one is bottom. Eleventh one is borders. Twelfth one is line style. Thirteenth one is line color. Fourteenth one is background color. Fifteenth one is frame properties. Sixteenth one is bring to front. Seventeenth one is send to back. Eighteenth one is change anchor. Nineteenth one is link frames and twentieth one is unlink frames. So to position the images within the text, we can control it with four different settings. The first one is arrangement, which is nothing but the placement of graphic on an axis. So you can either bring it to the front or you can send it to the back. The second setting is alignment, which refer to the vertical or horizontal placement of the graphic in relation to the chosen anchor point. You can align it on the left side, you can align it in the center or you can align it to the right. The third setting is anchoring which refers to the reference point for the graphic. This could be page or frame where the object is a paragraph or even a character. An image always has an anchor point. The fourth setting is text wrapping, which refers to the relation of graphics to the surrounding text, which may wrap around the graphic on one or both sides, be overprinted behind or in front of the graphic, or treat the graphic as a separate paragraph or character. Let us see how to use the object toolbar and apply the four settings along with it. So now I am opening a text document. I am going to insert a picture from file. Once it is inserted, you can see two toolbars appearing there. Now I am resizing the picture. I am going to insert one more picture. Let me resize this picture also. I am going to keep it side by side so that I can show the effects when I apply it. I am going to wrap it around the page. You can see that it is getting wrapped to the paragraph. By default it is anchored to the paragraph so you can find it getting wrapped. If I click on wrap through the text goes behind and the image is shown in front. I can align the image on the left, center or right. Now I can align it on the top. Now I said that it is anchored to the paragraph so it is getting anchored there. Center of the paragraph and the bottom of the paragraph. I can change the anchoring to page so that this gets clear. Now bottom, center and top. Now I can give a border to this image. I can change the thickness and line style and I can give a color. As you can see the background gets filled. Now I am setting it to back. I am bringing it to front. And I can anchor it to character, page or as character. Now we can access the settings of object toolbar in the following ways. One is from the format menu where you can find these four settings. The second is from the pop-up menu when you right click on the graphic. The third is from the object toolbar that we used just now. The fourth for images. You can click on format and picture 
and for drawing objects you can click on format object position and size so in different ways we can access the object toolbar settings object may include images as well as your drawing objects now let's have a demonstration of this also i am deleting the border image now i click on format see the four options are visible the four settings anchor wrap alignment and arrange i can also click on the picture Now I can right click on the picture and choose the option picture. I have various options available or to be precise tabs available for making changes to my picture. Now the next option is to see the object toolbar. Now I can click on format picture again I get the same options as we saw when we right click the object and selected picture. Now for the drawing object it will be disabled so we need to draw an object. So insert the drawing toolbar and draw an object. Click on view toolbars and drawing. Now select an object and draw the object. And now if you click on format object you will find position and size enabled where you can make changes to the drawing object. So these are different ways in which we can access the toolbar for an object. So in this session we have learned how to resize a drawing object, group different drawing objects, use the toolbar, position the image or graphics within the text and to access the object toolbar for different objects. I hope you have understood the concepts clearly. Please do like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.